once I got with the team and met a lot of the guys and the coaching staff, it, it confirmed my uh, my passion to play college hockey and, and commit to the time management needed. Um, and understanding that it's 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 required to, to put a lot of effort into their schooling, but also in hockey. So it took some guessing and took some um, some failing, to be honest with you. Um, late nights, um, studying, cramming in uh, coursework. But I think after the first couple of weeks and definitely the first year, I learned that uh, you know how to really balance school to do well in the classroom and hopefully do well on the ice as well. Being a student athlete um, is very time consuming. It's it's unique at the collegiate level because in high school you kind of have maybe some people at home telling you when to wake up, making your lunch, driving you to places at times, or in a close proximity. Coming into college, you, you lose that comfort. It just comes with years of experience because I know my freshman year, I didn't know how to do it at all. And my sophomore year, I got better at it. My junior year, I got better at it. My senior year, I think I had found a great balance between the two. So I guess it just comes with failing. If you want to stay in school, play hockey, these grades are going to need to stay up. I really do truly believe that, you know, the players and the staff, and, and it's all one program. We have different roles to play, but everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to create an environment that, that's, uh, that's exciting, that, that's something that you want to be a part of. Something that I think comes down to, to a team and what the program calls the brotherhood. And I think it's just something not everyone gets a chance to be a part of. With what I want to do with my career and stuff like that, I figured, you know, maybe I shouldn't focus so much time into hockey. But after just looking at like the kids that I've known for three years, two years, a year, and how special this organization has been to me, I think the kids on the team is what motivates me to come out every single Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, to give my absolute best and all because, I mean, they would do the same for me, so why wouldn't I do it for them? What I have to see for, it's not for anything I've done on the ice at all. I think it's more so to be a leader off the ice for the younger kids of the team. So, I mean, it, it's a great it's a great accomplishment and everything like that, but I, I just don't like to talk about it much because, I mean, it doesn't affect how I'm going to play, and I just go out there, even if we're in the sea or not, it's still the same game. Yeah, my relationship with students uh, at Riders, it's, it's unique. Um, I believe I'm one of the only ACHA coaches who work at the institution they coach with. So that gives me uh, a great opportunity to develop the relationships with my student athletes on a whole different level, off the ice. Coach Levin uh, has been a great coach all four years. He started recruiting me my senior year and has been there ever since. Like He's helped me with so much, with school, with coaching, with life, like everything. Having you know the player show up to my wedding was probably one of the, the, the greatest feelings at that moment in time because um, it was a nerve-wracking. I mean, for, for those who, who've gotten married, it, that day is so exciting, but you know, the moments leading up to it, there's a little bit of anxiety, a little energy. Um, and when I was standing up there um, with my groomsmen and my brother, and I turned around and I see the whole players standing up and waving to me um, in one of the rows, was, was, it broke some of the tension. Um, it made me laugh, I was smiling, I think it definitely brought a couple tears in my eyes. The ACHA requires a 2.0, but we stress the increase in the GPA because it's gonna help them in long term. Internships, co-ops, um, and that first job out of school, and graduate school. So we kind of pushed that. This past season, we had a 3.3 team GPA, which I was thrilled about. Um, it's the highest in years, and that goes to the student leaders, in my opinion. The coaches always say that, but the players reinforce that. You're on your own, your meals are on your own, you have a schedule for practice, you have a schedule for games and workouts, but there's a lot of downtime and there's a lot of time for you to um, get lost in the shuffle. So it's a major time commitment that some players take a couple years to learn, some never learn, um, and some learn pretty quickly based on utilizing their teammates or their coaches. Um, but yeah, a time commitment, it's, it's huge. I, I really do believe that it's a privilege to be part of a college ice hockey program. And I don't think anyone should take that for granted, whether you're a player or a staff member. The type of uh, the type of game situations in the locker room, you know, camaraderie, and even the practices late at night—they're they're team building in a way that you don't see uh, outside of a competitive sport environment. They've got a whole equipment box now, complete with like a skate sharpening machine. Um, the gear that they wear is like top notch, um, and what we provide for them, especially on away trips, we really try and go above and beyond. And I think a lot of people. If you're not familiar with college programs, like this is a club team, that's pretty much unheard of.
up, boys. Start a big weekend. All right? You guys know it. We all know it. Let's get those points. Put yourself on the puck side. Drive the net with authority. This team has some tempers. So if we play our game, which is a normal, aggressive, under your skin type of game, we've got that, that type of characteristic on the team, we're going to generate power play opportunities. I expect us to be more mentally and physically prepared than these guys. The talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. We fight for pucks, we compete in front of our net, we push guys around. But mentally is even more important. 4 seven, seven, 3 on the blue. 6 9, six, nine eight up front. 3 4 to play. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, boys. Defensive zone to your centers. You need to be aware of where our defensemen are. It's a big fucking sheet. So we need to be aware of when our defensemen are spreading out and when we need help down low. So talk out there, boys. It starts tonight, boys. It starts tonight. Let's go. Dear Lord, the battles we go through in life. Dear Lord, the battles we go through in life. We ask for a chance to spare. We ask for a chance to spare. Chance to equal our stride. Chance to equal our stride. Chance to do or dare. Chance to do or dare. We shall win. We shall win. Let it be by the code. Let it be by the code. Faith and honor held high. Faith and honor held high. We shall lose. We shall lose. Stand by the road. Stand by the road. Cheers, winners go by. Cheers, winners go by. Day by day. Day by day. You're better and better. You're better and better. We can't be beat. We can't be beat. Won't be beat. Won't be beat. So phone, get him here, boys. Let's go, boys! Let's go, boys! Let's go, our game! Let's go! Working together! You're working together! Wheel! Wheel! Come on, boys! We're lower than if you keep going to the box. This game's far from over! Challenge this kid, boys! You're challenge this kid! Stop and start here, man, right? Stop and start here, man! Fight through checks! They're not gonna call them now, but you have to fight through them! We'll make sure that we're high for our D. They will, if we're not there, they won't pinch. If we're there, they're going to pinch. But we got to support them, all right? The guy behind him goes and hits our goaltender. The puck's in the crease. He's allowed to go. He can't hit our goalie, though. Once the puck's in the crease, 10 minutes in the game, the game's already taken over. You already took the game over. 10 minutes in. How do we respond, boys? Stay in our game, though. Not changing our game. Go, Mike. Go, Mike. Go, boys. We push back here. Come on. We gotta push back. Seven and change. Get one here, guys. Come on. Get back to our game. We do a lot of good things right. All right, a lot of good things right. Come on. How are you gonna respond, boys? Come on, guys. Let's go. Another one for us. Come on, fellas. Let's go. Who are we gonna be? We gonna die? We're gonna keep fighting back. Come on. No one says a word. You play hockey. Let's kill us off and get back to our game. Let's kill us off and get back to our game. Gotta get aggressive here, guys. Hey, that's all nuts, forwards, all right? That's all nuts, forwards. Take it! Take it! Where's his help? Where's his help? 5-1, we're losing here. Shit's not going our way, all right? I don't give a fuck if it's the coach. I don't give a fuck if it's the, the ref or anything. It doesn't matter, all right? We're down four goals with a lot of hockey left. All right, we talk about battling back all year. We talk about being resilient. This is what it comes down to. Shit's always gonna go wrong in life at times, guys. All right, and this happens to be one night that's not going our way right now. But there's a whole half a game left. There's a whole half a game left. So we have to decide right now if we're gonna get blown out here or we're gonna battle back and chip away. Chip away, all right? I can't make the decision for you. Coach Joe can't make it for you. You have to do it yourself. You have to pull guys along with you. Drag each other to the finish line. We have 11 minutes to go in this period. 11 minutes to go. We're four on four, we kill, and we support each other. We want to be a team that wants to play deep into the season. It comes from bats and back, from losses like this. Let's go, boys. Back on the ice Monday.